Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at some gradient problems. So the first question we've got to ask ourselves is, what is the gradient? So the gradient of any line or curve indicates the steepness of the line relative to the horizontal plane, i.e. the x-axis. The gradients can be positive, negative or neutral. Um, and we'll take a look at their characteristics in just a second. And the higher the value of the gradient, the steeper the line will be. So if you have a negative value, your gradient will be negative. If you have a positive value, your gradient will be positive. So the formula that we use, we'll do a quick proof to show how this works. So we'll take a triangle and we'll label two points. We'll have x1, y1, and we'll have x2, y2. Now, this here, from this point to that point, is your straight line. And then the difference in terms of the x-axis between 1 and 2 is the value of x2 take away x1. And then the difference in the y's is the value of y2 minus y1. So by using this relationship, we can create this formula. So the gradient formula is y2 minus y1, that takes into consideration the height, over x2 minus x1, that takes into consideration the length. And you can use Pythagoras in this, because this will create a right angle triangle that you can perhaps solve for the distance. But in terms of the, the gradient, this is the proof on why the gradient is this particular formula. Now you will have to memorize this for the exam. However, with plenty of practice, this will become a uh, second nature. So if you look at question number one, it asks us find the gradient of the line with the points and we have A and B. Now the first step I always say is draw a diagram. So rough x and y axis and then roughly plot the points where you think they are. And this makes it a little bit easier to visualize. And then the second step is to write down the coordinates and then label them x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now it doesn't matter which one is the ones and which one is the twos. The thing that is important is the consistency. And that's why I always say label the points and that way you don't get them messed up. And then the final step is simply substituting the values of the y2, the y1, the x2 and the x1 into this formula. And then it is just simple maths from here. So 6 minus 4, 2 over 6 minus 2, 4 simplifies to half. So that means that this gradient is positive. So we have a positive gradient here. If this was negative, your line would extend that way. So by drawing the line, it can give you an indication of do you expect a positive or a negative value. So the second question is a problem solving question and it gives us this diagram, this is a past paper question. And the question says that at the top of a 40 metre block of flats, um, a boy sets a rocket off and it has the trajectory of a straight line. And it's asking us to find the gradient of the trajectory of the rocket for four seconds. So on the x-axis is time and for the y-axis is h4 meters. So we know that at the time of four seconds, we are at a height of 100 meters. And we know that here, when time is zero, we are already at an initial 40 meters. So in four seconds, it has climbed 60 meters. And now this is the upside down version of the proof of the formula, that triangle. So again, first things first, we'll draw what the diagram looks like and we'll plot our points. Now you can call these points anything you want. If it doesn't specify, always just go for A and B. So this is the point zero 04, this is the starting position, and then this is 4 and then up 100. This is the final position. 
So again, the same thing, label the points, keep it nice and neat. I've went for A as one and B is the twos. Again, you could do it either or, it doesn't matter. So then it's a straight substitution, 100 minus 40, 60 over 4, which will give you 15. Again, this is a positive value, so we expect the gradient to be in the positive direction. Now, this means that this gradient compared to the other one is far steeper because the value is a lot bigger. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.